today's episode, we've crossed the border and made the 400 mile round trip to South Wales to visit the recreation ground, home of Ammanford AFC. They kick ball in the Cumbria South Division and today we're here to watch a couple of footballing legends. And if you fancy watching the guys in action, then come on down, there's plenty of room. The capacity here is 1,200 and they have 250 available seats. How it started, how it's going. I've never been to a Welsh dugout before, but this was well worth the five hour journey. Kicking things off with the framework, it's been put together perfectly with a lovely addition of black coating. This spacious wide area can hold up to 13 players and staff at one time. Adding to the framework is this neatly crafted perspex which has got a wonderful curve to it. As expected we've got our usual printed technical area but a lovely little addition is this, the substitution board which Pasty will be using throughout the game. My name is Pasty and I'm the kit manager of Amphore AFC. Why are you nicknamed Pasty? I was selling down a vet um, when I was 11 back in 1978 and uh, my father got me the job down there and I worked till they went to Division 1. What's it like with Lee Trundle and Leon Britton in the changing room? Absolutely superb. Very, very quiet, both of them, but um, what quality to have in the squad. What's your biggest pet hate as a kit man? <sighs> Cutting socks. Absolutely hate that. And any kit man out there should know cut socks, they don't get socks for a game on a Saturday. And what are the perks of the job? Well, just have one of these now for one of the players. Come in, give me a nice little joma. Nice little joma top. So, uh, happy days of that. <laughs> top bins. That wasn't top bins, was it? It's not all about the top bins. Check out the amazing views. Lee Trundle, striker for Ammonford AFC. Lee, how did you end up signing for the club? Well, I'd played a couple of, for a couple of different teams in the, in the Welsh League, so played against them a couple of times. And then he got in touch with me and asked whether I'd like to come down. So, you know, I still want to play as long as I can, so I'm enjoying my time here. What's it like for a former professional footballer to come and play at this level? I think it's a bit different for me because I started off at this level, you know, I started off in amateur football, so I was never at an academy, then I went into the, the non-league and played there myself before turning professional, so it's sort of gone full circle and I'm back to, to playing semi-professional. Still tearing it up? Still having a go, yeah, still scoring goals, but well, we played our first game Friday night and I scored two then, so hopefully I can get a couple tonight. Back playing with Leon Britton? Yeah, it's brilliant, you know, especially to have a name like Leon in the in the league. It just it's brilliant for everyone. The lads playing with him, lads playing against him, you know, he's played at the top level, so I'm glad to share the pitch with him again. Cute. Fluffy. Scrumptious. The Liberty Stadium, Mumbles Pier, Oyster Mouth Castle.
finding the character the lad showed and then with the sending off as well he was probably our main threat guy when he went off we even stepped it up even more but great to come back and get a win you've got some quality young players haven't you yeah we've got some really good lads and it's nice to see the standard at this level improving so you know it's good playing with them each week talk to me about that last goal yeah, I'm just around the box and I thought there was a couple of them around me so the only thing was to try and back heel it luckily it's gone through and uh, Tristan has got his hat trick with a great finish and what about the fans? the fans are brilliant you know since we've come here they're being a part of the community and that's what it's about clubs like this is about getting the fan, local fans in and getting the community together and a great night for everyone love it and you still love DVDs? always <laughs> <laughs>